ready to take the old sketchbook out on the road. So where's our next stop? Let's find out. <laughs> Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome back to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And we take those things and uh, we do a little, some iterations of those in our sketchbook here. So what I'm trying to do, so I'm trying to do something different here, okay? We're, you know, I'm always stuck down here in the underground lair, but I want to get out you know, ex do a little exploring, and it's really hard to do that, so what I have to do is I have to go here to this device, the Parallelloscope, which allows us to view what? Alternate realities, parallel universes, and uh, that way we can get out of the underground layer. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna take our sketchbook with us, we're gonna go up here, where are we gonna go? I'm thinking, I, you know, I'd like to get back to the olden times, like the old west, but uh, you know, like I said, I like to do more futuristic stuff. So let's let's kind of combine the old west and some futuristic themes, and uh, we'll jot them down in our sketchbook. So come on, let's go up here to the parallelloscope. I've got my sketchbook with me, and I've taken a trip to the old west, specifically Tombstone, Arizona. I was born and raised in Arizona, but I've never been to Tombstone, so I thought it was high time I checked it out. The spot of the famous OK Corral gunfight. Here you go. As you can see, I got to witness some reenactments, take in some historical sites, and uh, and visit some just some really cool stuff. And needless to say, I was inspired. So I took some time to sit down and uh, draw a little bit in my sketchbook. Uh, really, again, inspired by the Old West, but you know me, I like to do a lot of sci-fi stuff. That's kind of my thing. Um, so I decided to do sort of, uh, I wanted to do like a cybernetic kind of gunslinger type guy. Um, so did a few different sketches and then I started, I, I decided I want to kind of get a cool pose, basically like somebody's getting ready for, you know, uh, a standoff, a gunfight and everything because we got to see some of those in action and that was really cool but uh, you know again what if this guy was you know part robot and uh, you know kind of in the vein of I know Westworld is really popular right now I haven't seen that but it's definitely on my list of things that I want to check out but uh, you know I'm familiar with the old Westworld and everything so I want to do something sort of like that or at least my version of something similar to that so here's kind of my you know robotic gunslinger getting ready to to draw so I'm gonna take this drawing and another thing I got a chance to do that was pretty cool if you've ever been to like a lot of these you know old western towns or whatever whatever um, they have they have you know these photographers and there must have been probably four or five of these photographers just in this small it's I mean I don't know how big Tombstone at the town is because it's an actual town people live there and everything but the part that's the historical part that's kind of the tourist attraction is just sort of a, a long strip you kind of saw that in the beginning but along that strip there are at least four different photographers where you can go in you can dress up you know in your old west garb like a cowboy and you know they've got old west backdrops and everything and if you want you can have it put on like a wanted poster and all that but a lot of you know a lot of the options they had the sepia tone option that kind of looks like photographs look like in the old west um, so I wanted to do something similar with my sketch so I sort of sort of took that sketch that I did in my sketchbook and now I'm just sort of redrawing it and I'm uh, doing it on the uh, Kona Classic uh, mid-tone paper and then I'm gonna sort of do uh, sort of a sepia wash and, and try to see how that comes out so so that's my intention but I was thinking while I was there I started you know I'm always I'm always thinking about art obviously so and I was thinking about they say how they say that the internet is sort of the like it's like the the Wild West and I think a lot of times and I've heard people say that all the time and I always took it to mean that it was more because it's kind of um, it isn't really regulated, so to speak, and it's sort of lawless. I mean, it's, it's kind of a new frontier in a way. But then I started to think uh, 
a different, sort of a different angle on that, and I don't know if this is when people say that, if that's what they mean, but um, to me, yeah, it is, it is sort of a new frontier because it's, it's sort of this untapped resource. And it's like, you know, the settlers, when they, when they headed west, you know, in search of gold or whatever, or, you know, to, you know, strike it rich or whatever, you know, they were looking for out in the Old West, to kind of, you know, get away from whatever the status quo was and uh, kind of make a name for themselves. I mean, just this wide open space. And I kind of see the internet as that, especially for artists, because there's so many, so many resources out there that are, I want to say untapped, but that's not entirely true because you see people that have found, you know, a place online, whether it's YouTube or Instagram or, or any number of social media, Facebook, whatever, and they've been able to use that. They've been able to kind of tap into that and stake their claim and be able to, you know, build an audience around there. And so, some people, uh, it might be more than one different platform. I've been kind of concentrating on YouTube, but there's so many other areas out there, and there are some that, who knows what the next big thing is gonna be. And sometimes, sometimes it helps to be an early adopter of those things. I mean, I kind of came into YouTube I don't know if I came into it late or whatever, but um, you know, it was still it was going strong. But there's other things, and who knows what's going to take off. And that's kind of like, you know, that's sort of the gamble because that's and that's sort of that that Western mentality. You go out there, and who knows kind of what you're going to find. But but there's so many areas out there, you know, online that we can we can use to kind of get the word out on our art and build an audience and everything. And that's why I think it's, it is a lot like the Old West. Um, and, you know, somebody like me, you know, I've been doing this for a while, but, uh, you know, the internet is still, I mean, obviously it's been around, but it's, it's still, I'm still trying to find my way um, with it. And other people have, you know, they've been able to really, you know, you know, build something online. And, you know, I think that's entirely possible for anybody. You just got to stick with it. And you've got to, you got to figure out, you know, where to lay your hat to use the parlance of the old West. But as long as the internet has been around, it's still pretty much in its infancy. I know, you know, a lot of you younger guys and gals, I mean, you've, you've grown up with the internet. It's kind of always been there, but it, it's still relatively new. And who, who kind of knows where this thing's going going to go or what it's going to become? Um, and who knows what opportunities lie, you know, lie before us if we're, if we're on the lookout for those things. Because if you ask me, the opportunities are endless. I mean, this is, it really is a new frontier. I mean, there are no longer, in m many cases, there's no more gatekeepers. I mean, we have the ability to do whatever we want with the resources that are out there. We just have to kind of figure out how to do that. Just, you know, again, just like in the Old West. And I've, I've given this a lot of thought when I'm, I'm out here and, and you know, how everything compares. I mean, if you want, if you want to make a comic book, you can, you can make a comic book. That wasn't the case before. I mean, you could, if you had a couple, you know, two or three grand to throw down on a minimum of like two or 3,000 print run for a comic, yeah, you could do that. That's the way it used to be if you want to do an independent comic book. But now, with basically no money down, just your time, you can do print on demand. You can put your artwork out there, and if you can find that audience to purchase that, then it doesn't cost you anything up front. If you want to set up a store, if you want if you throw up a storefront, uh, make products, whatever, it doesn't, I mean, store envy, nothing. It doesn't cost you anything. They'll take a little, bid or whatever, or Etsy if you're making like hand done goods. I mean, most of us artists fall into that category. But, um, you know, these these resources are out there for us and it's just a matter of doing it. And I, I think if you get yourself in that, just think of, think of the people, what they had to go through in order to travel by, you know, horse and wagon across the, and of course, again, I'm sort of speaking in, you know, here in the United States, in America and everything, but you know, you, you guys and everyone outside of the U.S., you, I mean, you see movies and everything, you know what, you know what, you know, the, the whole thing was, you know, the, the whole settling of the West and all that, everything, and we won't get into, uh, obviously, the indigenous people and, and, and all of that, but just from the perspective of, of 
you know, settlers coming here and, and trying to, to make their way in the world and moving out west. And, you know, people got sick. People had to go through all this stuff. Think of what they had to go through. And we don't have to do that. It's just, it's easy for us. So if, if, if you're kind of complaining that, oh man, it's so hard to build an audience on the internet, you know, start thinking a little more and think of really how easy it is. It's, I think, I think you get the wrong mindset because a lot of people risked, you know, their life and their health to, to make it across to, for, a, for a better life, you know, across the states or, you know, I'm sure wherever you are, there's other analogies, but, um, and they did that because they thought there was a better life and a, a way to, you know, be successful or prosperous. And it's nothing for us to do that. I mean, the, all these things are out there. We just, we just need to take advantage of them. And, you know, I've started doing this and it's, you know, it's, it's a nonstop thing. We've got, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of work, but um, I think the eventual payoff is, is, I mean, it's, you never know, but I mean, it's you're you're taking a gamble. But I think if you put in the time, and you know, and sometimes it's a gradual thing. Sometimes it hits for certain people, like you know, sooner than others. But if you keep at it, you keep building, you start building that audience. And even if you're in the beginning of that, um, just really, really think of how you know how good you really have it compared to back then, and and. and and how many opportunities uh, kind of lay before you. So anyway, uh, that's sort of my thought. Those are just some things I'm thinking of while I'm drawing this sketch. And as you can see, right now I'm starting to uh, use some watercolors and just dropping in some of that sepia tone and you know, just trying to get this uh, sort of this old west type look. It's not like with anything, this is something new that I'm doing. So you know, we'll see how it turns out, but I, I definitely want to do some more watercolor and because uh, I, I miss doing watercolor. I used to work on watercolor a lot and not so much anymore, so I'm just kind of starting off, but I do want to do more um, as time permits. But uh, again, start thinking of, uh, of the internet as this, this resource where we can go and we can make a name for ourselves. Put your stuff out there, build a store, you know, sell your products, whatever you have to do, make a comic, put it out there. Um, it's the new frontier. I mean, I don't know what else I can say. I keep kind of repeating that, but I, I wanna, I kind of wanna, you know, <laughs> nail that into everyone's brains if you're, if you're at all frustrated. Um, you know, really look on the bright side and look look at all the opportunities we have and uh, start taking advantage of some of those things. And I'm going to do my best when I'm kind of down. I'm like, well, things aren't going as fast as they should. It takes longer, but uh, you know, it's not always easy. But you know, what do you got to lose? Chances are you're not going to die in a gunfight. <laughs> All right, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me and helping me, you know, coming along on my journey, trying to put a few more pages in my sketchbook, and uh, I will see you guys later. That is all. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here in the Art Lab. There's a lot of other great content on the channel, so click that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing. If you're an aspiring evil genius, visit CircWorks.com for all your mad science supply needs. And if you want to contact me, hit me up in the comments section or follow me on social media. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you then.